behind me and around me is another invasive, the common reed, Phragmites. Uh, this time of year, from midsummer to fall and even through the winter, the seed head on this one is obvious as you drive along the roadside, or if you see it show up in your, in your garden, you better get control of it. It spreads by seed. It also spreads by what's called tillers, which are horizontal stems, a root-like stem that can grow up to 40 feet long from a clump. So it crawls along the ground as well as traveling by seed. Again, it forms these dense colonies. It can grow to about 10 feet tall, uh, and you just can lose your, you can step 10 feet in there and you can't see where the heck you are. Uh, again, this is something that should not be allowed to, to, to get a foothold anywhere because it's really tough to stop it. Again, spraying will do it, but you've got to do it for years because in all of these plants, the seeds tend to stay viable for a good many years. So even if you've killed all the vegetative plants, the seeds down there are just going to pop up one, two, three, five years later or even longer. In some places, we've been spraying this stuff for 10 years, and we're, you know, we're gaining the upper hand, but it's still popping up. Glenview has a terrific heritage, and much of it is because of the natural resources we enjoy. The reason we have an ordinance to protect our land is so that others don't suffer from these seeds which can take over and ruin the quality of life and the economic benefits that we get from having a good green infrastructure. When we have areas that are healthy, we have a great quality of life we can enjoy for recreational purposes and for science and learning with our family. If we all take care of our properties by complying with the ordinances on invasive species, we'll have a better community overall.